lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Such as I have, and such as God has rested upon my life. The God that has given me results that are beyond my age. That God that has given me favor with men and with systems. I pray may that same favor rest upon your life today. May that bata koto bata sata. May that favor rest upon your life from today. Hear me? Favor with resources. Favor for opportunities. Favor with the heart of kings and nobles. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Anyone that has been under a closed heaven financially, anyone that has to struggle to do anything, I declare over your heavens today, be open, 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 be open. in the name of Jesus. Everything that makes you struggle, as far as financial resources are concerned, from today, by this grace that is upon my life, and by the covenants I have with God and the covenants I'm connected to, I declare that that struggle is over. That plague of shame and reproach is rolled away. Step into uncommon prosperity, uncommon prosperity, uncommon prosperity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every devil that has seized and stolen the resources of your destiny. Every devil that has seized and stolen the resources of your family. I bind those devils with chains and fetters of iron. And by the fire of God I command them to live your life forever. Demons of poverty go now. Demons of lack, go now. Demons of smallness, go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you from today. The wisdom, the power, and the grace that will give you results that are beyond your family lineage. If nobody has ever risen to that climax before, if nobody has got to that Rubicon to before, you are going to cross that Rubicon from today. The wisdom, the grace, and the power, receive it now. The grace for ancestral breakthroughs, territorial results, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. A pastor spoke to me recently. He's in Canada now. He spoke to me. He says, Sir, I followed your ministry for a while. And honestly, I've not seen around that side where you are anybody doing what you are doing. The grace that makes you break territorial limitations. If it is a cost that nobody prospers financially. From today, your life will be the answer to that cause. Step into that grace from today now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, as we wrap up this financial dominion series, the grace that shifts men to unprecedented levels of prosperity, unprecedented dimensions of breakthroughs as touching financial dominion, the grace that gives you control over resources, the grace that gives you control over the resources of the earth. As we round up this series, may that grace land upon your life now. May that grace rest upon your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new day for you. Go and rewrite the stories of your family. Go and rewrite the destinies of men in your lineage. Go and change the status quo from today. Become that financial apostle 
become that deliverer, that savior that God is raising for your territory, for your nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. May your life be an, end, an unending fold. An unending unfolding of financial signs and wonders. Therefore, even God, your God, has exalted you and anointed you with oil of gladness above your fellows. I put you ahead of your companions, ahead of your equals, ahead of your colleagues. Get ready for financial possibilities for today. Listen. There are some of you young people here. Let me prophesy to you because of the grace that has come on your life. Some of you before 25, before 30, you will be a millionaire. Believe me. Some of you even from school, God will give you one idea, one idea, one strategy that will turn your family's life around. You will, no lot, you will not only set records or break records, you will set records and break them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your time has come. And I declare that these words will be manifested in your life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to wave your hands in one minute and give God praise.